I am so excited to finally have this episode aired because I get this question all the time. Tanya, what is the best way to announce that I am promoting a new company and new products? Or I get people that come to me and say, hey, Tanya, I've, I'm really scared to start something new, but this something new looks really exciting and I really wanna do this. Or people don't even wanna to talk to previous people that they've talked to about their previous company or previous products. So essentially, how do you restart your business with a new company, with new products, without looking like a flake. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about the bad, the ugly, and more importantly, the good. And how do you all put this together and do this if you want to join a new venture, a new company, or you wanna pivot in your business. So stay tuned. Welcome my friend to episode 227. My name is Tanya Eliza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly helping you to design a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new episode and free resource for you each and every week. Also, make sure to smash the notification bell if you're watching on YouTube so you don't miss an episode that I launch and you get reminded. Also, we leave all of the things discussed in each episode in the show notes below this video in the description area. So make sure to check out the show notes for additional awesome resources and recommendations that I make that will help you crush it in your business. So how about we start with the ugly? So be prepared for criticism, criticism from your upline leadership, criticism from outsiders looking in, criticism from just anybody who wants to cast that negative energy over because they're just a negative person or they don't have the right mindset yet and they don't have an abundant mindset or maybe they've got scarcity mindset but just be prepared for a little criticism. Now this might not happen all the time. Maybe you have a great supportive upline that's like, hey, more power to you. Go wherever you feel like you're gonna shine. But you might get some criticism. So be prepared for it. Just know it might happen, but know this. They don't pay your bills and in a couple of months or even probably about a month, they're, probably, they're going to move over into the next thing that they can cast their negative criticism or energy onto. So it'll be short-lived, but just be prepared. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this happens in our industry and there's really nothing that we can do about it. It's happened to me before, but it doesn't stay happening. So just be a little bit prepared. And here's a little pro tip, just kind of side topic. Don't ever be that kind of a leader. Like if you have team members leave the team to go do something else, as a person, just support them as a great human because the grass sometimes isn't always greener on the other side and hey, maybe they make a pivot and maybe the pivot that they made, they realize that maybe they shouldn't have made that pivot or it was better where they were before and you always want to keep an open door so that they feel comfortable coming back home if they ever wanna come back home. So as a leader, never ever ever, I see leaders do this and it drives me nuts, never ever condemn or criticize anybody for the decisions that they make. That is why we joined network marketing or started our own online businesses in the first place. We wanted the freedom to make the decisions that we want to make as an entrepreneur. Please support that. Now here's the bad. Most people that start a new business are really fearful and scared what others will think of them because they're promoting something else or they're making a pivot and people think that they will think poorly of them for not sticking to their original decision or with their original company or with their original products. But here's the reality. People don't care about you that much. <laughs> I, unless it's your family, okay? Then they should care about you a little bit, but more than a little bit. But people don't care about you that much when it comes to the products and things like that that you promote. What they do care about is they care about themselves. They care about 
how you can help them or what it is that you can do for them or what it is your products can do for them. So don't worry about what other people think because you're a business owner. Just think of yourself being like a general store or you know an influencer or a brand that that promotes multiple different products that serve and help other people that's essentially what you're doing so do you have to stay promoting like one thing absolutely not and so it's not really that big of a deal i think maybe most people make it to be more of a big deal in their own mind than anything because other people don't care all that much about you they just care about how you can help them. So think about how you can help them, what benefits or problems does your product service um, provide to people and focus on getting that out to the world. Now, before I dive into the good, and this is good, 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 it's juicy. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. So you know in every episode of Tanya Liza TV that I like to equip you with a free resource that goes with the episode that can help you crush it in your business. So today, since we're helping you to learn how to restart a business or a new venture or a new opportunity or make a pivot in your business, you really got to understand that it has nothing to do with the company that you're promoting or the products that you're promoting. It has everything to do with you as the influencer, as the brand that is being the voice of these products, the voice of this company. And so if you do this right, really you can insert multiple things into your brand and you can help people with multiple things in your product line and in your, your arsenal, right? It's all about building your brand and your brand equity out in the marketplace with your people and attracting the right people into your brand. So I put together a free resource called my five steps to building a profitable brand online. It's a really simple, easy five steps, but I think some people miss this and it's really important in their business. So if you'd like to get my five-step guide on building a profitable brand, so it'll help you relaunch or launch or boost what it is that you're doing right now, you can head over to tanyaeliza.com forward slash 227 to get that free guide that we have put together for you. We'll also leave a link in the description area of where you're watching this video and you can click that link and it'll take you to the blog episode where you'll be able to request access. If you're already there, you'll see a big yellow button right below this video, click it and my guide and resource that we put together is ready for you. You'll enjoy it, it'll be amazing, and it will help you dive a little deeper even with this topic on relaunching and restarting with a new venture or making a pivot or even just boosting what it is that you're doing right now. So here's the good. If you found something that is more exciting and it's injecting life and excitement into you and you're excited to go out there and share what you have with the world, that is a a really, really good thing. Don't let anybody steal that joy from you. You're an adult, you can make your own decisions and you can make those decisions based on what you know your goals are for you and your family. Nobody else is going to help you accomplish those goals. Nobody else is paying your bills. It's you at the end of the day that has full control over that. So don't let anybody steal that away from you. But here's the thing, let's say you start a new company and you need to know how to approach the first weeks of it. Maybe you have an existing team in network marketing with another company and you're like, what do I say? How do I approach them? And you guys, I've been through this. I've been through this a couple of different times. I've had a couple of companies um, you know, go under and I've had to kind of make pivots. And because I built my own online brand, it was very easy to do that and insert something else into what it is that I was doing, very easy. However, I still had to deal with the challenges of navigating communication with my existing teams that I had and then also with my existing fans and followers and subscribers that I had. So here's a little tip that, a couple tips that I have for you to do this and navigate it professionally, of course, because there's a right and there's a wrong way to do it. You never wanna bad mouth anybody or anything. That doesn't ever make you look good, no matter if you've had a great experience or not. You also never wanna cross recruit anybody from any other companies that 
that's just not ethical and it won't make you look like a professional, it won't make you look good. Um, and what do I mean by cross recruit? If you don't know what that means, I, that means actually physically go into a previous team or a previous company and try to poach people from there and bring them over to where to, your, your new deal or your new, your new venture. You don't ever wanna do that, that's just not ethical. Um, however, if people come to you based on the things that you're posting out on social media, free game. You know, people come and say, hey, I'd like to learn more information, totally free game. Now, I also was very sensitive in communicating with my team because I did need to communicate with my team um, from one of my other companies that I was with and, and then moving over to the company that I'm with now. Um, and what I did was I just addressed the elephant in the room and I was very open and honest with my decision as to why I was making my decision without bad mouthing any or, or talking negatively, of course. Um, but I told people, I said, look here, I'm going to always support you here and you can reach out to me if you need anything whatsoever. I am never going to abandon you and just know that I'm always here to support you in whatever it is that you you're doing, no matter what, if it's here, if it's somewhere else, I'm going to support you. However, my decision is to go and decide to, you know, focus on building and promoting in and with another company. Um, I've got my reasons for that. And I just wanted to be completely open and honest with you guys with what it is that I'm doing. And if you'd like more information on that, I'm not gonna reach out to you, but you can reach out to me. I just want to operate in a very ethical and honest way. Um, but I just thought it was important for you guys to know what my focus is gonna be from here on forward. And I just did a little Zoom call um, with my team. I think I also did a Facebook Live because we had like a private team group with my team. Uh, however, I got the message out. And then what I did do though, is my personal leaders that I was personally connected to, I did have personal one-on-one -on -one phone conversations with them. And, you know, some of them, you know, came and, and joined me in my new venture, which was really awesome. And some of them didn't, and that was fine too. And I was going to support them in whatever decision that it is that they were going to make. Uh, so, you know, just being very open and honest and transparent is the best way to be when you have a team and you have to navigate your decisions. But I knew that I was really excited about my new venture and pivoting, and I wasn't going to let anybody criticize or, or tear that decision away from me because it was ultimately my life, my goals, and my business. And it really wasn't a big deal for me when I did my pivot. And the reason for that was because I didn't ever brand or talk about my company name or my company products on the front end of anything that I was doing on social media or in my messaging. I was always building my brand and giving value. And then on the back end, I was making recommendations and suggestions into my products and my services. So when I did the pivot, I was able to just readjust the recommendations on the back end. So the front end never changed. So really, it wasn't a big deal because people didn't even realize that I had made a pivot. Um, and so there was almost nothing to criticize. People, people didn't even really know because I, I never shared on the front end that I was with that company or promoting those products because I understood the value and importance of building my brand because your you know, recommendations and suggestions are gonna change over the years, but you are not, you are always going to stay you. So it's very important for you to learn how to build a brand online. And that's exactly why I put together my, my five tips to growing a profitable brand online. Um, I put that guide together for you to follow those tips and that guide is ready for you if you wanna go and pick it up over on the blog at tanyaeliza.com forward slash 227. Okay guys, so we are doing something new on Tanya Eliza TV. Instead of a question of the week at the end of our episodes, we are now doing champagne moment highlights. I've had something inside of the company that we call champagne moments, which are like success stories that we really like to share. And we like to feature our members and so, and our subscribers. So I want to be featuring more of you. So anytime that you get a result or a, or a success, 
or, or, or something happened based on my trainings or going through free training or pay, my paid training. It doesn't matter. We want to hear from you and we want to feature you. And then every person that we feature on a Tanya Eliza TV episode, we will link to their brand in the, the resources section below, giving you exposure, of course. And also we want to send you one of our uh, Boss Up coffee mugs. So we'll be giving out our coffee mugs and we'll just be highlighting your name in shining lights. So our first, our very first Tanya Eliza TV champagne moment highlight goes out to a client of ours, Janice Dolnick. And Janice is absolutely amazing. She shares with us, I wanted to share something with Tanya Eliza's followers. I started following Tanya in 2014. OMG, we're like old time friends, girl. I haven't um, questioned her ways. Uh, I haven't questioned her ways, her theories, her trainings. I've just followed her tips exactly. She knows what she talks about. Check out my book that just hit the number one new release on Amazon, all because I was coachable, persistent, consistent. I have over 13,000 followers on my Facebook awesome, right? Keep doing the do. Like Tanya um, says, overnight success is not overnight, but it comes with time and consistency. You all got this. Listen to Tanya. She seriously is the master at home business building. Janice, thank you so much for sharing that with us. I'm so happy that our trainings have helped you totally crush it in your business. Congratulations on your number one bestseller on Amazon, girl. We'll be sending you a mug. We'll be linking to your stuff in our show notes section below and just so much love and gratitude showering your way. So did you get some value out of today's episode? I truly hope that you did. And if you did and you know anybody else that would like this episode content, make sure to smash the share button, get it out to your people. People. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you next week on Tanya Eliza TV.